So I'm going to go right ahead and put this as an imprimatura on this um, painting surface. And this is a panel that is made by uh, New Tradition Art Panels. And this is their canvas number L600. And L stands for lead white primed. And so here is the canvas texture. And 600 stands for the texture of the, the weave. So they come in different uh, textures. Uh, some can be fine and some are a little bit coarser. I believe this is sort of in the middle. And so if you just see the cross section right here, this is uh, on uh, birch wood. And then there is a uh, linen that is adhered to the birch wood. And on the back here, you can see that the birch wood has been varnished, so it's uh, rather shiny. And this actually helps to protect the surface from absorbing any moisture and humidity. So it helps to stabilize the, uh, the panel. Um, I've been working with uh, the art panels recently and I really love them. So the plan for today is to be finding my drawing and value approximations just using a monochromatic underpaint te te technique. But I'm using two chromas that are in the same family uh, for this uh, paint um, and I'm doing so because I think that this is just a little bit too cool, this is just a little bit too warm in comparison to, to what I have in mind. All right, so I'm going to be adding this uh, onto the canvas um, with, a, with a rag. I think I'm going to be using just some kind of worn out, this is like a previously washed linen shirt that I now cut out into little paint rags and I want to use this instead of a regular paper towel because a paper towel may have just a little bit too much lint in it and I think that I have to go around here quite vigorously in order to, to cover this sort of before it absorbs too much in a way. So, um, so I have this ready and I'm going to also probably add a little bit of oil, maybe a little bit of turpentine. I usually just use a bit of turpentine sort of added to the paint when I do this, but because I'm going to be painting sort of into it today and the paint is kind of dry-ish, it's not sort of oily or, or glossy, so I think I can permit a little bit more oil in, um, in the mix here as well. Just to wet the paint a little bit more and make it sort of in a uniform way. You can see that the kind of color saturation and value actually is coming out with a bit more intensity. So this seems like a good ratio, I find, of uh, pigment and uh, oil. And I have a bit of gamso right there. Just gamso. All right, so uh, let's get to work.